Hello everyone and hello once again YouTube. This is Mia with EOS Market News and I'm back to give you another article featured for the day at preferredcurrency.news which is about this. Bitstamp is looking towards global expansion after being acquired by South Korean investors. On October 29th, the cryptocurrency exchange Bitstamp was acquired by Belgium-based investment firm NXMH, which in turn is owned by South Korea Media Conglomerate NXC Corporation. The Luxembourg Registered Exchange is now controlled by the same company that bought the major or majority stake in the South Korean crypto exchange Corbit last year while its CEO remains in office to continue with Bitstamp's global expansion. Brief history of Bitstamp, Europe's oldest and most legally compliant crypto exchange. Bitstamp was launched in August 2011 by Nex Kodrik and Damjan Merlak in their native Slovenia. As Kodrik recalled in an interview, their business started out in a garage with an initial capital of just a thousand euros, two laptops, and a server. The idea to open up an exchange came to the entrepreneurs after they experienced difficulties buying Bitcoin in Europe. As they told Forbes, when they were originally registering their exchange with a Slovenian bank in 2011, it didn't object because people in Slovenia didn't know what Bitcoin was. In April 2013, Kodrik and Merlak outsourced support, compliance, and legal needs to the UK because they couldn't do all the screening necessary to keep bad guys out in their home country. Bitstamp was now a UK registered limited company. In 2016, Bitstamp became Europe's first fully legal crypto exchange after it received a license from Luxembourg to operate as a payment institution. To receive the document, the exchange went through two years of various checks, including an audit by Erms and Young. Being a compliant business, Bitstamp has talked to strict Know Your Customer or KYC principles. In 2017, Bitstamp became one of four crypto exchanges that provides the CME Group with pricing data for its Bitcoin futures trading. Kodrick told Cointelegraph at the time, quoting, it's essential that we ensure that all data provided does not include any forms of manipulation that could affect the index. We're proud that we've earned the trust of the industry and we're chosen to be a part of the new Bitcoin futures market." End quote. Security seems to be one of the main priorities for Bitstamp, especially after the 2015 hack, when the exchange lost 19,000 Bitcoin or around $5 million at that time. The fraudsters stole the funds from Bitstamp's hot wallet in a typical phishing attack. The exchange employees received personal emails and Skype messages from seemingly friendly sources. As a result, the person responsible for security, Bitstamp system administrator Luca Cardridge, downloaded malware onto the war computer, which led to the exchange security getting breached. Compensation did not follow, but the security regime was significantly toughened. Specifically, carrying out transactions on Bitstamp now requires using multi-signature and 98% of the cryptocurrency is stored in a cold wallet. Established back in 2011, Bitstamp is the oldest active crypto exchange in the world. It is currently ranked 26th on CoinMarketCap, seeing around $65,855,358 in trades in the 24 hours before press time. 
Kudrick told Reuters their volume has been down between 60 to 70 percent comparing to previous years, but stressed that Bitstamp remained profitable in 2018 because current cryptocurrency prices were still higher than they were for most of last year. Buyout details, Kodrick remains CEO, investor helps with the global expansion. On October 29th, Reuters reported that Bitstamp has been acquired by Brussels-based investment firm NXMH in an all-cash deal. Prior to that, the exchange had raised a total of $14 million from investors including Pantera Capital, which invested $10 million in Bitstamp in 2014. NXMH is a family investment holding which has over 2 billion euros in assets, managing the wealth of an Asian tech entrepreneur as per its LinkedIn profile. It was founded in 2011 and focuses on Europe consumer and tech investments. The firm is a subsidiary of South Korean-based media giant NXC Corp, which bought a 65.19% stake in South Korean crypto exchange Corbit last year. The deal between XNMH and Bitstamp was reportedly finalized on October 25th. Will Scott declined to share the full terms to the media. He informed Reuters that in 2016, Bitstamp was valued at $60 million, up from $39 million in 2014. Interestingly, in March 2018, the exchange was rumored to be in the final stages of being acquired by South Korean investors for $400 million. NXMH now has an 80% stake in Bitstamp, with Kodrick retaining his 10% ownership interest and staying on as CEO. NXMH has also reportedly co obtained part of Pantera Capital's $10 million stake in the exchange. However, it will keep a 6% ownership stake in the exchange. Kodrick's co-founder, Damien Merlac, has reportedly sold all of his 30% stake in the exchange in the NXMH deal. According to Kodrick, his co-founder has not been active since 2015. Bitstamp CEO does not believe anything will change for either the exchange's customers or its 180 employees following the acquisition as he told Fortune, quoting, We have kind of the same opinion as NXMH. Why change to something if it works perfectly well? End quote. He added that the merge between Bitstamp and Corbit, both owned by one parent company, NXC Corp, was in the talks, but the parties decided to run the exchange separately in the end. The crypto exchanges still plan to share technology, research, and development resources, according to Kodrick. NXMH was one of the four interested bidders for Bitstamp in a process that began in mid-2017. He added that they initially struck the deal last December as the price of Bitcoin was peaking near $20,000, and it took several months for the companies to receive regulatory approval for the arrangement. Kodri claims that he and Murlock were not looking to sell and were definitely looking for investment because they didn't need to raise the capital. Nevertheless, he took the opportunity to cash out on the majority of his share in the company while giving 10% and remaining the CEO. Quoting, Bitstamp and XMH were very much aligned where we see the industry going and what the company wants to be. They're willing to help us along the way and to help us with our global expansion and code. Other major acquisition of 2018, Polonex betrayed Bitthumb. Earlier in February, Goldman Sachs backed Circle Startup acquired the base or US-based Polonex crypto exchange for $400 million. In late May, Japanese crypto exchange Bittrade 
was acquired for $67 million or $50 million by a Singaporean multimillionaire and entrepreneur Eric Chang. After purchasing a 100% stake in the company, Chang became the first foreign investor to own an exchange licensed by Japan's Financial Services Agency or FSA. On August 31st, Japanese e-commerce giant Rakuten, with a market capitalization of over $12.5 billion, revealed a 265 million yen or $2.4 million deal to acquire domestic crypto exchange everybody's bitcoin in october bk global consortium a group led by one of south korea's leading plastic surgeons dr kim byung gun closed a deal to obtain 50 percent plus one share of bitcoin's holding corporation the largest investor in bitthumb crypto exchange according to bloomberg the purchase was settled at around 400 billion won or $352 million and will be finalized in February 2019. Alright guys, so what can you say about the article about Bitstomp looking uh, towards global expansion? Share with us your opinions on our comment section below. And if you guys want to have a copy of our newsletter a day ahead of our broadcast here on YouTube, you can always do so simply by going to our website at preferredcurrency.news. All you have to do is here go down and click on the link PayPal where you can pay 15 US dollars per month on a recurring basis or you can pay here at Coinbase for only $180 per year with your favorite crypto handled by Coinbase and as soon as you do that, you start to receive our newsletter a day ahead that's 12 hours ahead of our broadcast here on YouTube. Alright, so guys, here is a copy of our current issue for the day, November 1st. Now here on this newsletter, you will see the featured articles. And of course, we have links to the websites that you guys should look into. Now, here is one great website where you can get alerts about your EOS transactions simply by going at eosauthority.com slash alerts. You can get alerts for transactions on your account such as incoming and outgoing transfers, changes or additions to the keys, airdrops sent to the account, actions authorized by the account or any ECOF arbitration notices. Also, EOS Authority performs as a block producer where it deals professionally with technical matters or issues of arbitration and governance. Again guys, if you want to receive notifications regarding transactions on your account, you can always visit eosauthority.com slash alerts Type in your account name and email address on the spaces provided for you. And of course, here. You can advertise what you have for sale in exchange for EOS and also what you would like to buy at eosmarketplace.news. So guys, if you have any vacation rentals, real estates, boats, or services available in exchange for EOS, you can always visit this website. Now, don't you worry. The sheet here is very accessible and it does not require any membership fee. All you have to do is just, is just type in the name of the item you want to sell on column B, the description or definition of the item on column C, any link to the website for the description, such as photos or images, on column F. And of course, your basic contact information, such as phone number, located here at column H. And your email address on column I, so that the buyers will know how to reach you. Again, guys, if you have anything there that you want to sell in exchange for EOS, visit eosmarketplace.news. And also, you can place your additional listings here at marketplace.pcn.today. Now here on this website, our website, you can search for any category that you want, such as here, automotive, electronics, jobs, pets and animals, restaurants and cafe, and other services. Also, the website has an ads locations or 
advertisement section where I made two types of ad listings. One has the grid view and the other one has this view. And of course, marketplace.pcn.today has an ads location section where you can add your desired locations and there is no limit so you can do it as you would like to. Again guys, you can always place your additional listings here at marketplace.pcn.today. And of course, you can always go and see the latest news on blockchain by visiting pcn.today. So guys, if you want to know the latest news on your favorite cryptocurrency and on blockchain, you can visit pcn.today. Here. You can also change some US dollars into Bitcoin simply by signing up to the website at pro.coinbase.com. Now, Coinbase Pro offers individuals the ability to trade a variety of digital assets on a secure insurance backed platform. It is also the best place to trade digital currency. And as soon as you've um, changed those dollars into Bitcoin, you can then transfer those Bitcoin here, the Binance Exchange, where you can um, change those Bitcoins into EOS if you wish to. Again, guys, if you want to trade some of your Bitcoins into EOS or other cryptocurrencies, visit Binance.com to see how the trade market works there. And of course, you can then download the free EOS Links wallet from Google Play Store or your favorite app store so that you can use EOS most easily and also you can download the EOS wallet on your Windows uh, just visit EOSlinks.com there now here is um, one thing that's um, I'm interested in is that once you subscribe to the newsletter is that you get to see Donald's research list as to what he thinks are the most important coins and or tokens are to be researched today based on fundamentals. And here is his um, research or analysis for November 1st, 2018. Now here in column A are the names of the tokens or coins. Now the red ones have negative news, orange or tan are neutral, yellow are fair, green have good news, and blue shows the best news. Here on column B is the US dollar recent price. On column C, share of total market volume. On column D, Google searches compared to past 7 days. On column E, 50 candle SMA movement. On column F, number of positive technical indicators. On column G, 24 hours current volume versus price. On column H, 7 days weekly volume versus price on column i 30 days monthly volume versus price and on column j is the percent issued now take note that this sheet is not a recommendation for you to buy or sell crypto but if you decide that you would like some always consider offering about 20 percent below the cur current market price whenever you place buy limit orders there and guys you could always have your own copy of this um, analysis simply by clicking file here and make a copy then click OK so that you can have your own version which you can modify to your own uh, purposes and research and also you can add columns um, personal notes and information to your own file copy so here take for example that this is my copy of um, the personal uh, Donald's research list and I would like to see this with the arrangement that um, the um, I want to see the coins or tokens that has the most number of positive technical in indicators I just go to column F click on the down button and sort sheet C to A there so here is my how my um, copy looks like I have here the names of the coins or tokens that has the most number of positive technical indicators there. And also guys, on each newsletter, we'll show you a list of the coins that has the most high volume change, interesting technical price action, 
high weekly trade volume, and high Google search activity. And also here we have an affiliate program for you all. Um, here you can become an affiliate and earn your crypto each month. You can invest your time in our affiliate program and earn affiliate commissions for 7 levels deep. But take note that you should not post your affiliate link in public forums or comments, but do it as private messages only after you chat with a friend or owner of another channel or account. Now it's easy guys for you to enroll. Just click on the image here on your copy of the newsletter or you can go to the website profitcurrency.news. Click on the affiliate tab, enroll, do your first plug and earn your crypto there. And if you have other questions or concerns, you can always contact the publisher because he really wants to connect with you personally. Now you can contact Donald the Guru on his phone number at 1-801-601-8105 or on WhatsApp at 1-801-471-6939. You can also reach him on Telegram at preferredcurrency.news and our subscribers can follow him on Twitter at Preferred Crypto. There. Alright guys, now all the information provided for you is for your news, review, and educational entertainment regarding blockchain and should not be taken as financial advices. As here, we are not financial advisors and we highly recommend that you do your own research regarding all of the information we provided for you to uh, for you to make decisions for yourself. Now, this channel, EOS Market News, and the website preferredcurrency.news is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online each day. Alright guys, if you liked my video, uh, please give me a thumbs up there and subscribe to our channel for more updates. This is once again Mia and I'll see you on my next video. Till then, take care you all.